right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. All right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So in this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. Well, we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure where right. most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedown. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. He's got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, <laughs> and that's not always the case. He believes that he should have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age with similar height and the same reach. All right, now with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Pantera! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi! You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves is making fun. This fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true 5 2 player. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Nice one-two combination there. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block! Single collar tie now. And they separate. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the kick. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Ooh! Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Nice. 
Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches there. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. A big right hand lands. Powerful leg kick lands. And now he lands a combination. Oh, nice jab. <laughs> Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Oh, it's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight. And that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike very effective with it. Beautiful strike. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Oh, collar tie. And then he lands a nice elbow. Beautiful leg kick throw. Oh, nice knee to the body for him there. Very nice. Takedown defense holds up. Battle for position here. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. The Korean Superboy gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Nice back and forth action here. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Nice kick there by Choi. Just misses with a left hook there. His uppercut is blocked. Looked like for a minute he had a window there. It closed quickly. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Nice kick. Straight right is there. And there comes the separation now. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Nice strike. Got the single collar tie. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. Starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Nice kick. Oh, tags him with the left. That is an educated left hand. Educated left hand. He's throwing oh. so fast and so crisp. Five minutes in the books. Right now, we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. All right, DC, second round is getting Good underway. Luck. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always gonna be. You can have two very talented fighters, sometimes very even. That's what we saw in round number one. All right, single collar tie now. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Nice leg kick. Wow. Ooh, what a punch. Went inside on that leg kick. Ooh. 
jab left hook and went inside. Usually, you know, you see guys throw the outside kick there. That was nice. Oh, big head kick. Right, he engages in the single collar tie. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. And I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent into positions where he can get off the strikes. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Big kick lands. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Yeah, he's fixed it all up. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Joy gets caught with that punch. Straight right hand, no good. And they separate. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking this fight. Goes upstairs for an elbow. Oh, man. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Big elbow there. Now a takedown attempt. It is not there, and not a ton behind it. Back and forth we go here! All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're gonna sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. Right hand punch in the clinch. A little struggle here now for position in the clinch. And we see a lot of these situations in mixed martial arts where both fighters sort of end up getting comfortable here when there isn't a whole lot going on. And the moment somebody gets comfortable, the moment that somebody decides to relax, the moment you'll see a takedown or somebody really speed out ahead of their opponent. You gotta be aware when you're chest to chest in this 50-50 position. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, enough taking the aggression and the output and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Nice one-two there. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. Man, it doesn't take much for the redness to start. Look at the left side of his body there, nasty. Really timing his shots nicely, good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Nice straight punch. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Nice head kick. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh, eats a knee! All right, so once again, the fighters engage in the clinch. We'll see who will have the upper hand here, champ. There are so many options to dictate and control this exact position. Who is going to take advantage of it? Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, nice punch there by Chor. Just misses with the right hook. Oh, he leads with... Oh, what a round! All right, well, that's the end of the round, so the location is okay, the cut on the cheek, but that is some serious blood trickling out of that cut there. You gotta think maybe at some point they called the doctor in, and if he doesn't like what he sees, maybe they stop this fight. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's your replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well. But when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed 
that the power is not equal. And if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty Three good fight. previous two Three. rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're training to, and it stays this close, you got to really switch it up. Wood Corner was able to relay that message to their fighter better in the round. Look at the investment that this young man is making to the body with those strikes. Punch coming, it's blocked. Ooh, what a punch. And just misses with that big right hand. Single collar tie now. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over. Would you look at the size of that bruise on his torso? Nasty. Oh, you need to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Look at him. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Trying to stay in this fight. He blocks the punch. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? More work now to that lead leg. Solid leg kick is good. Takedown, no problem. And they separate. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds. And it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Nice loop punch. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Look at him yank the head and land that beautiful punch from the clinch. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, late defense on the takedown and scrambles to his feet. Nicely done. That one appeared to stun him. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, and that one snapped the head back. The referee has seen enough. Mercifully, by TKO. he mercifully stopped the fight. A great stoppage and a great performance by this young man. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 32 seconds of the third round. To play the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Chong. All right, 
Marshall, there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And got to be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public tonight.